Meghan Markle fans have hit out after she was accused of rubbing people up the wrong way by one of her former friends, with the Duchess of Sussex and Prince Harry facing increased criticism over the past few months. Meghan Markle has been subject to increased criticism over the past few months since the birth of her and Prince Harry's firstborn son, Archie Harrison. The Duchess of Sussex, and her husband Prince Harry, decided to keep the details around the birth of their son Archie private, as well as holding the baby's christening behind closed doors. But, the royal couple faced scrutiny after it was revealed British taxpayers forked out around £2.4 million for renovations to their new home, Frogmore Cottage. Speaking on the Jeremy Vine on Five show, Lizzie Cundy, a TV personality and former friend of the Duchess of Sussex, claimed Meghan cannot have it both ways. She said, I think Meghan Markle wants it both ways. She has asked for privacy. And the next thing you see is her at a basketball match lifting up little outfits for Archie. Then she is editing magazines. I just think you can't have it both ways. You can't take 2.4 million pounds of taxpayers' money to do up their cottage, it rubs people up the wrong way. But angry supporters of the Duchess have rushed to her defense online as they condemn the TV personality's nasty remarks. One Twitter user said, Hashtag Jeremy Vine if I was Meghan Markle I'd blank Lizzie Cundy. Hashtag good judgment. Someone else wrote, accidentally flicked onto the Jeremy Vine show and watched five minutes of their heated debate on fixing Meghan Markle's behavior and am tempted to do one of the audience call-ins and ask what's gone so wrong in their life that they care so deeply about a random woman's actions. Also speaking on the show, Guardian columnist Owen Jones claimed the criticism surrounding the Duchess of Sussex was pretty racist. He said, what we're talking about now, this constant attack on Meghan Markle, is this idea of what a royal princess should be, which is a British, white aristocrat. Let's just be honest about it. A lot of the attacks on Meghan Markle are pretty racist. She's been singled out in a way that no other princess is being singled out, constantly under attack. I would actually prefer a head of state and she is actually a threat to people like me because if the royal family is going to stay popular with a new generation, then they need to change. They need to modernize, they need to reflect and look a bit more like the public they represent. Meghan has been in the increased media spotlight since she started dating Prince Harry, and back in 2016, Harry released a statement criticizing the media's coverage. The statement read, his girlfriend, Meghan Markle, has been subject to a wave of abuse and harassment. Some of this has been very public, the smear on the front page of a national newspaper, the racial undertones of comment pieces, and the outright sexism and racism of social media trolls and web article comments. Some of it has been hidden from the public, the nightly legal battles to keep defamatory stories out of papers, her mother having to struggle past photographers in order to get to her front door, the attempts of reporters and photographers to gain a legal entry to her home and the calls to police that followed, the substantial bribes offered by papers to her ex-boyfriend, the bombardment of nearly every friend, co-worker, and loved one in her life. More recently the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have sparked controversy after they decided to keep details around the birth of their son, Archie, private, just a month after Archie was born, it was revealed the taxpayers forked out £2.4 million in the renovations of the Duke and Duchess' new home, Frogmore Cottage. Reports over the summer also claimed one of Meghan's security team asked spectators at Wimbledon not to take photos of her, as she was attending the event in a private capacity. According to The Telegraph, tennis fans sitting near the Duchess were ordered not to take photos because they were in a private capacity. Meghan has also faced some criticism after she guest edited the September issue of British Vogue. The Duchess of Sussex chose to use the edition to feature prominent female role models, including former First Lady Michelle Obama and New Zealand's Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern. Speaking about the project, Meghan said, These last seven months have been a rewarding process, curating and collaborating with Edward Enenfool, British Vogue's editor-in-chief to take the year's most read fashion issue and steer its focus to the values, causes, and people making impact in the world today. Through this lens, 
I hope you'll feel the strength of the collective in the diverse selection of women chosen for the cover as well as the team of support I called upon within the issue to help bring this to light. I hope readers feel as inspired as I do, by the forces for change they'll find within these pages.